Hello everyone! Uh, this game was played in 2015, it was the Millionaire Chess Tournament and uh, Hikaru Nakamura won this tournament and by winning this tournament he also won a prize of $100,000. That's uh, not a bad prize. Uh, but aside from winning this beautiful prize, he also played this beautiful game with the black pieces against the Russian Grandmaster Evgeny Barev. And well, okay, he was a Russian Grandmaster till 2015. Uh, in 2015 he was transferred to the Canadian Chess Federation. So I believe he's now a Canadian chess grandmaster. Uh, but nevertheless, in 2003, Mr. Barev was ranked number 4 in the world, uh, with a rating of 2739. So losing a game in 11 moves with the white pieces is, is definitely something to see. Uh, so uh, Barev is white and Nakamura is black here. Uh, knight to f3 is played, so the ready opening, we have d5, d4, now c6, uh, bishop to f4. Uh, queen to b6 by Nakamura, now b3, uh, protecting that b2 pawn, knight to f6, we have e3, uh, now knight to h5, going for that f4 bishop, uh, now bishop to g5, h6, bishop to h4, and knight to d7. And here we have a, well, a, a, a blunder <laughs> by Mr. Barev. He plays knight to e5, and here Nakamura immediately plays knight captures on e5. And, well, Barev has a problem here. Uh, if you capture the knight with d captures on e5, you get queen to b4 check. And if you, after you cover up, either with the queen or with the knight, well, simply knight to d2, you lose the bishop on h4. Uh, queen captures on h4. So, uh, after this knight to e5 move, Barev doesn't really have a lot of options here. He has to play queen captures on h5, grabbing the knight. So we have queen captures on h5. Uh, but now Nakamura plays knight to g4, and uh, already you can see that this queen doesn't doesn't uh, really have a lot of squares to go to. Uh, so bishop to g3 was played, making room for the queen. Uh, Nakamura goes g6, attacking the queen once again. Uh, the queen doesn't really have anywhere to go, but uh, h4, uh, you don't really want to go to h3. Uh, you get uh, a discovery from this bishop on g4, uh, sorry, on c8. So queen to h4 is played, and here Nakamura played bishop to g7. And, uh, well, this is move 11, and in this position, Grandmaster Evgeny Barev resigned the game. Uh, what's the idea? Well, Nakamura is uh, threatening queen to f6, and how do you save the queen? You can play something like h3, because, well, again, simply bishop to f6 captures the queen. And, uh, well, one move you can play, uh, for example, bishop to e5. But if you play bishop to e5, you get knight captures on e5, uh, d captures on e5, and now bishop captures on e5 uh, with an attack on this rook on a1. And after, for example, a move like c3, uh, queen to c5 is played, now again attacking this c3 pawn with uh, threats of grabbing the rook. Uh, only move for white here would be king to d2, and well, uh, it would seem that uh, Evgeny Barev is too strong of a grandmaster to play a position like this against Hikaru Nakamura. So yeah, uh, after this knight to a, a bishop to g6 move, uh, Barev resigned and well, <laughs> Nakamura won the $100,000 eventually. So what do you think? Uh, would you? Uh, I'm interested. Uh, I, ca I don't know, of course, uh, uh, this is far beyond my level, but uh, I, I would play this position with white <laughs> against anyone, you know, I, I wouldn't resign in, in, in this position. Uh, I'm interested, <laughs> what would you do here? So yeah, uh, that's the game. I do hope you enjoyed this miniature. I don't think uh, any channel covered this game so far. Uh, it's the first time I saw it, actually. And yeah, as usual, you can check two of my previous videos here. Uh, thank you all for watching, and uh, I will see you soon.